So good morning. Welcome to Saturday morning circuits. Um, today we're we're going to do kind of an ab based circuit. So we will be jumping about. So there is cardio moves, but it's a lot that just trigger the ab uh, ab muscles to work. Yep, loads of options. And um, just like every other class, um, if you need the options, take the options. And if you need to stop and kind of just catch your breath and join back in, um, not as bad as last week's circuit. Um, so more manageable I would say than last week's we're still going to stick to the same format though so the minute move well about 50 so 55 seconds 50 seconds and then you get a quick chance to change so um 10 moves so it's a 10 minute round um but again quite a few ab moves where you're going to be lying down so if you want to have a mat um or a towel on the floor um grab it now you'll need your water bottle and maybe a towel if you need it for, for wiping down i forgot my towel this morning um so we'll just have to just use my top or something um which is gross i know so um you know, let's get ready to get warmed up and um, we'll just fix this camera a wee bit and the living room's not very big but i don't have room to just lie stuff out you see unfortunately um okay so just a quick warm up and then um we'll get started who's with us this morning we've got michelle and susan morning ladies uh, ready to go, hopefully. Um, let me see, let me see. Okay. Again, if you want to put on your own music, feel free to do so. I'll keep this a little bit lower, so if you've got your own music in the background, you can just make sure you can hear me, um, but don't worry about anything else. Okay. So, we're just going to start with a little warm up so you can march on the spot. Try and give me a little jog. Just nice and light on the feet. So for the next 45 minutes, we're going to be working. Oh. It's Saturday morning, folks. The weekend has begun. Okay, start picking up the heels a little bit. You can. If you're just marching this morning, pick up those knees. Yeah, nice and high. Shuffle. Well, says I, I'm shuffle. How do you call this? Yeah. Pushing those heels down, leaning forward, keeping that chest up. Yeah. Pushing those heels down, bending those knees slightly, keeping that chest up. Lift the hands up. We're going to shuffle and tap over. So shuffle, tap the floor, here. So side to side. Back. 
Now, hold this leg back and just do a bottom half lunge. Front knee behind the toe, back knee under the hip, dropping down and up, step in, change sides, gang, halfway. Now, step to a chair, squat, feet together, down, halfway. So legs are a little bit closer, so feet are almost touching, just a tiny gap. Yeah. Now jog to finish. This time, pick your knees up a little bit higher than you did in the beginning. Just making sure you're warm. I was warm before I started. And from there, just shake it off. Yep. I think there's something wrong with my internet. So. Have a little shake, get ready. Have a little drink, have a little wipe down. Okay. Sorry, I'm just sending a message. They're using my internet upstairs. I think they're all on it. And it's, it's cutting me off, I think. So, just send up a wee message. Just to make sure we don't get cut off through the class. Right, okay. Are you ready to go? So, we're going to start with a weighted sit-up. Uh, not weighted sit-up. A sit-up, yep, or a crunch. Yeah, so it's up to you. If you can't do a full sit-up, then just do... Just a little crunch. Oh, what we're saying. Oh, morning, Laura and Roxanne. Nice of you to join us this morning. So we're going to get started. So sit on the floor, on your towel, your mat, whatever. Ready for that sit up. You ready? Or a crunch, remember. We're going to get going. Let's rock and roll. So all the way up if you can. Or just a crunch, lifting the shoulder blades off the floor and down. Right there. Yeah. Up. And release. Lift. And down. by the head, yeah, giving that chin off the chest, yeah, not pulling up with the arms, using the abs to lift, and hold it, roll over for squat thrust, so hands under shoulders, Bringing the knees under the chest. Let's go. In and back. So from the side, we're here. Bringing the knees in with the bum down. Yeah. So what I don't want is this. So getting nice and flat. Bringing it in and back. Yeah. Keep it going. Now you can walk it in, which would look like this. And back out. As an option. Always an option if you need it. So use it if you need that option. Hold it, we're going to lie back down. We're going to do some bicycles. So opposite elbow to opposite knee. Extending the leg one at a time. Ready? Let's go. So over, over. Your option for this is over and placing the foot down. Yep, so lifting one leg up, opposite knee to opposite elbow if you need that option. If you don't need the option, just fire through here with the chin off the chest.
hold it there, bring over for mountain climbers. So this time opposite knee to opposite elbow, again, but in the mountain climber position. You ready? Right here, opposite knee, opposite elbow. Again, your option is here and back, there and back, yep. Making sure the hands are right under the shoulder so your bum's not in the air, keeping it low. And hold it there. Leg extension. So rolling it over again. Keeping the lower back into the floor all the time in this move. Yeah. So knees above hips and leg extension. Out and in. But if you can, two legs together. Yeah. Don't let that lower back lift. Keep it pushed right down into the floor. Pushing out and in. Yeah. 
hold it there. We're going to go for a little pulse. Yep. So, two options for this. Feet on the floor or knees above hips. Yeah. So here, lift through the shoulder blades and pulse in. That's it, right there. Or feet on the floor, lift your heels though. Yeah, take out the hip flexor. Lift the heels to target those abs. Yeah, as you pulse with the chin off the chest. And hold it there up on your feet for the last one. We're going to do a little sprint to take a home. Yep. Let's go. So, push into the end here. You get a little rest. So not as intense as last week's circuit. Yep, you should really be feeling it here. Yeah, the focus is all here today. I'm still sweating to be fair. Remember, you're finding it easy. Go faster in those moves. Go squat up. Get those things in and out nice and quick. With a spin, speed it up. There's no reason to be finding this easy this morning. Yep, you only find it easy if you're taking your time. Yeah? So it's going to push and work as hard as you can. And hold it. Shake it off. Have a little drink if you want it. If you remember the towel this morning, have a little wipe down. down for this camera this morning and he's too sore today so I'm just going to stay standing so we're going to go backwards now yeah so we're going to start with the sprint we'll end with the sit up and then for the last round we'll start with the sit up and end with the sprint again yeah we all feeling okay this morning all still stuck in still working yeah I just answer myself now as well these days because there's no one here so just enjoy the last couple of seconds of your your cool down what we're saying this morning. Oh dear Laura. Well, just do an extra couple of squat thrusts in there. Some extra mountain climbers. That might start to shift it, make you feel a little bit better. I know the feeling. We had a takeaway last night. I never eat takeaways. Oh, regret it this morning. So, right, ready to go again. Is anyone else on here trying to get rid of the guilt from last night's wine or takeaway or, or whatever? Or is it just me and Laura? It might just be me and you this morning, but I'm sure people will join in later with the same, same thoughts. Okay. I'm sure we're used to your daughter's bacon. In my work, they say if it's somebody else's bacon, it's their calories. So there you go. <laughs> okay, let's get going. We're going to start with the sprint. So when you're ready, team. On your feet if you've kind of been sit down and let's run. So we're starting that sprint. So we have just left off. So then we're gonna go into that little pulse crunch again. Let's go, crunch. So you shouldn't still be trying to get into that position, yeah? 
plenty of time. There's going to be plenty of time to move. So remember, the bits in between are not rest. You get your rest at the end. Yeah, so let's work through the 10 minutes and end the rest. Holding it there, rolling it over for a crab walk. Up on your hands in that plank and let's walk. Keeping that bum down as you take it over. So from the side, it's here. Yep, not there. So hands are under shoulders. Keeping that chin off the chest, nice flat back, control it, feeling it work through the tummy, if you're not feeling it through the tummy guys, you need to get the body weight over the hand, that means this is happening, yeah, so you need to be here, look down, where are your hands, is that under your shoulders, because they should be, you shouldn't be out in front of your face, Hold it there. A crunch with the heel drop now. So remember, single or double leg, lower back has to stay into the floor though. Yeah, so we're here. Let's go. Crunch. And a heel drop. Yeah, with the lower back into the floor. Or two legs together. Only go as low. So if you get to here and your lower back starts lifting, stop. Don't force it more. Yeah, don't lift back to lift. You need to keep that back into the floor, you're going to hurt yourself, yeah? Hands under shoulders, hips still, jack, in. So not here. You'll know if you're bouncing, you will feel your body moving. Hold it still. If you're holding it still, you will feel it right here. Yeah, we would want to be feeling it, yeah? Or tap it, that's also an option. Just side to side. Holding that body weight forward, where are those hands? You shouldn't be there, because that's what's happening. Hand under shoulders. The reason I keep saying it is because when you're not thinking about it, it'll start to happen. So please make sure your hands are under your shoulders. Let's get the benefit of this workout. Yeah, since we've got up this morning. Hold it. Leg extension. Single or double leg again. Again, the same thing. Lower back into the floor. You ready? Let's go. So single or double. Remember, I want you to challenge yourself. So do a couple of the hard options and then go back to the easy option if you need to, yeah? That's how you get fitter, by pushing yourself, by taking that hard option for as long as you can and then drop into the easier option, yeah? So give it a try, try the two legs. Try and get two reps to the two legs. And then go back to the single and then try after a few to get another two reps. Yeah, just keep pushing. Your neck, so opposite knee to opposite elbow under the body. Are you ready? Take it away. 
and you know the option is to go slow and controlled. Let's keep moving. Keeping that chin off the chest, bum down. Again, remember, you know what I'm going to say, hands under the shoulders. Yeah, just keep checking. Hold it there. Bicycle. So roll over. Again, opposite elbow, so opposite knee, but lying on your back this time. Yep, lifting the shoulder blades off the floor. Let's go. So keep the shoulder blades up. Keep the tension in the tummy. Yeah, don't lie down. Keep that up and push. Push, or here. Yeah, there. Push. 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 And hold it there, see? Roll with the squat thrust. Hands under shoulders. <laughs> Again, knees under chest. Let's go. In and out. Or walking it in and walking it out. Bracing those abs. And like I was saying before, if you're thinking, this isn't too bad, this is quite easy. Move quicker, yeah? So if you're doing this, of course it's going to be easy. Speed it up, here, yep. Get as many reps in as you can. Again, I've already done pulse crunches. You can't do a sit up though, that's your option. Ready? Let's go to the end. Remember, make sure that's not happening because that's not a sit up. You're just pulling yourself up, yeah? So, not using the arms, hands by the head, over the chest, or take the crunch option. And hold it there, team. Have a little rest. God, that's just noise. I say that every week, but it's true. Just have a little rest. Oh, Lydia. Oh, so from yesterday. Well, that's okay. So that's the benefit of the live class. It's not like when we've got a timetable, if you miss it, you miss it. You can always go back and do it at a later date. You can do it three times in the day if you want. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> Just take on some water. Have a little wipe down if you need to. So like I said, not as intense as last week. However, should be intense on the tummy. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling it this morning. It's good to do a little bit of abs. Throwing it in. I think I might put my stopwatch up there because it might be easier for me when I'm lying down rather than trying to strain to see over by the phone. Okay, so last round. So we're going to start with the sit-ups like we've just finished. And finish with a sprint so that's what you're hanging on to when you hear the word sprint you know we're on the way home minutes left that's it yeah all the way to the cool down which is personally my favorite bit <laughs> okay
couple more seconds and be nice to you. Get a nice long rest. See if you're in the class, in the studio. You won't be getting this kind of rest. But it's because I can't see you. So I'm thinking if I don't give you a decent rest, you might just chill and miss out moves. So by giving you a little extra rest, I'm hoping that you're joining in when you should be. Yeah. This one you get to lie down loads. You get to exercise lying down. It's great. <sighs> it's like a bonus. Okay. So get ready for that sit up. So lie down if you're standing up or lie back if you're already on the on the floor and get ready and let's go sit up all the way come on so you know the options now we've been two times through Hold it there, squat thrust. When you're ready, get set. Let's pull the knees under the chest. Remember to walk it in if you want the option. Yeah, try and push through though. This is the last time. We've got about 10 seconds before we move on. Hold it there, bicycles. Like that, opposite knee to opposite elbow. Let's rock and roll. Yeah, mountain climbers. So again, off the knee, off the elbow, but under with the hands. Yeah, so you up on your hands in the plank, and let's drive. About 10 seconds, come on. Leg extensions, roll over. Single or double. You know the drill, lower back into the floor. Single or double leg. When you're ready, get stuck in.
Last 10 seconds, guys. And hold. Roll over for the plank jack. So when you get into that plank first, take it up into the plank. I want you to hold that plank. Yep. Feel it working in the abs first. Now do the jack. So don't just get up into the plank and then just start doing this. Slow and controlled to hold the hips still. So two over and two back. Move up on your feet. Ready? Let's run. This is the last push. Plant foot and burst. And then we're finished. I've got a Saturday morning workout done. Well, I don't know about you guys, but my abs. Oh, I can feel it. Push to the end. So no marching, no options. Let's just go. Come on. We have 25 seconds left. Let's make them all count. 20 minutes, okay? Yeah? 
last 10 seconds. Come on, nearly there, nearly there. Three, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, just shake it off. Oh, just tap it, tap it side to side. Have you had a drink already? chest, relaxing, wasn't too bad this morning, that was quite a mild sink I thought for today, pushing the heels down, lean forward, take an arm over, yeah nice, a little bit more lenient on you this morning, don't know if you've seen the timetable with Grits back next Saturday, so that's pretty brutal to be fair, so I thought this week I'd be a bit nicer to you next week I don't really have an option because that one's I get told what has to happen in that class this is just a made up class for me um, if you want to prepare yourself for next week there's some old grits still online it'll be the same one we're doing on, on Saturday bring that leg in so you go back and have a wee look and do it once or twice so you get into it for Saturday or there's also my hit workout so on the Thursdays not Thursday then but the Thursday before there was a hit workout yeah, so it's just a half hour from the Thursdays. Have a look at them. Do one of them. They're pretty tough. Yep, change sides. That'll prep you for Saturday. Get you back into the way. Bring it in. Knees together. it down step wide you want you to tip from the hip all the way forward to feel it down the back of the legs and roll it up there Open up to the chest. And then push forward. So like I said, next Saturday, it's not circuits, it's grit next week. Thursday night, I'm back with body attack. Just shake it off. So if you want to join in on Thursday, feel free. We're back at half five on Thursday with body attack. And then 10 o'clock next Saturday morning, it's only half an hour, so we finish by half ten next week if you're joining in. Um, if we don't see you Thursday, hopefully I'll see you next Saturday. Have a good weekend, guys, for what's left of it, and I'll see you when I see you.